Hey guys, this is Jono from Silicon Dales. Uh, this video, we're just going to walk through how to create an automation with Active Campaign. Uh, if you've read some of our blog posts uh, and been over to our siliconDales.com site, um, you, we've got some pretty pretty cool blog posts there. So head on over there if you haven't already. Uh, but we've I've created a post um, on how to integrate your Active Campaign or Active Campaign the platform with Shopify. So if you're a Shopify uh, store owner or even an e-commerce store owner. Uh, Active Campaign is one of those platforms that uh, helps you uh, set up your email marketing and build some really quite uh, powerful marketing email marketing funnels. When we work with clients, we see that there's a lot of um, a lot of e-com stores that they're doing a lot right, but they uh, are leaving money on the table. And one of the things we see a lot is they're not utilizing email marketing. When you've uh, you've got a store that's actually making sales, and you're uh, building a customer list uh, with whether it's WooCommerce, BigCommerce, or Shopify, that list they're you know they're really warm leads. They've already had their credit card out. They've purchased from you before, so they're an asset that you need to remarket to. And, and more than just remarketing with your paid advertising, you re need to remarket with with your email marketing, and also uh, you know start start to think about and consider new channels such as uh, messenger um, and that'll be I'll, I'll do another video on that and another post on how to integrate messenger with your email marketing uh, and messages really you know really quite powerful and becoming more popular because the open rates for uh, Facebook messenger um, user um, are much greater than email and we're seeing sort of open rates uh, about 10 times more than what email open rates are so just going back to the post so what what I walk through is uh, how to actually uh, set up Active Campaign uh, and then actually sync all your contacts over from Shopify over to Active Campaign and then create a list. So it's a pretty simple process. Um, I'm not going to go through it now in this video. So if you want to uh, learn how to do that, if you're new, you can just head on over to this post. I'll um, I'll put a link in the description of this video and you can you can go and read that. But what I'm going to talk about uh, now is once we've synced all those contacts over and we've created our list. Um, then how we create a very simple uh, welcome sequence. So let's say, uh, obviously, uh, many stores, and hopefully you've got them set up in your stores, is an abandoned cart sequence. Shopify itself um, has a standard abandoned cart sequence by default. You can set that up, works quite well. There's other apps you can use out there, uh, and, and they're free up to a certain point. Um, Jilt's a really good one. Uh, they're, they're pretty good at, at what they're doing with their... their uh, abandoned carts and they've also added some other features recently I might do a another video and blog post on that also at one at some point um, so that that's one thing are your abandoned carts and every e-commerce store should have those uh, it's just a no-brainer you, you set it up let it tick along and you can you know if you need to tweak it as you go you can uh, otherwise um, it's it's going to recover revenue that otherwise you wouldn't have had. but one thing that, that works really well also is just setting up a welcome campaign so when a user purchases or even if they just sign up to your newsletter and you can segment them by the way so you can tag them as a purchase purchaser and active bank campaign and so do other platforms they'll do that for you automatically when, once you set it up you can tag them as a purchaser or just a newsletter subscriber for example and then you can send them different emails but what we tend to do is just set up a standard welcome email sequence to start with see how it, how it tracks and then we can uh, we can tweak it as we go later on Okay, so we're in an active campaign here. I'm just going to go up to lists and we'll see the list that we created previously. So this is just a, a test list. It's actually got uh, from the real Shopify store, got active contacts in it. So we can click on, uh, on the list and it opens up all the contacts. And once, once you've got these contacts, you can... Uh, uh, treat them how you want. You can bulk add tags, and you can do a whole lot of um, add a whole lot of different features to particular contacts and and your lists. Um, but we're just going to go to automations. So this is where we create a first automation uh, for a welcome email sequence. Bear in mind, we've, this is already connected to our Shopify store. Just going to move that over a little bit. Okay, now we can see the whole screen. So first of all, you're just going to click New Automation. And then there's a number of different templates in here, but we're just going to uh, create one from scratch really simply. 
Um, so you can see here that we've got a, you can purchase interest targeted follow-up, um, engagement tagging, and there's many different templates you can use and you can uh, work through those and see what's going to work for you um, in your particular business. Hello. So I'll just click start from scratch and then continue. Okay, so first of all, it's going to ask us what list or what, what trigger do we want. So in this particular welcome sequence, we want someone who subscribes to our list to be the trigger. So we just click on subscribes to the list. And again, you can see there's many different triggers you've got here as options. So you can build uh, quite large and complex campaigns depending on what sort of trigger you want. Click continue and now we're going to add our list which is our test list and here you've got um, whether you want to run it once or multiple times so uh, if uh, you know you might not want the, if a purchaser is a repeat purchaser as purchased from you last week and they come back into your store and purchase again you may not want them to go into your welcome sequence again because they've already got it so this is where you can say uh, either you want them to, to enter the, the automation once or multiple times so we're just going to keep it as once and this is where you can segment content, uh, contacts with particular tags. So we might, um, I'm not sure whether we have any, I'll put any tags in here. We haven't created any tags yet. That doesn't matter because we, at the moment for this example, we're just going to send this to every uh, subscriber to the list, which would be someone who subscribes to a newsletter or makes a purchase. So we'll just leave that blank for now and we click add start. Okay, then it's going to say, what do we want to do? So uh, what do we actually want Active Campaign to do once that trigger has, or once it's been triggered? So once the subscriber has entered uh, the automation. So we want to send them an email. So we're just going to create a simple email, give it a name. And now you've got... That's because this is on a free account. What I might do, I'm just going to remove some contacts and then I can continue the process. Okay, so the reason that, that uh, we pulled us up was because we're on a free account here. So there's a limit to the number of subscribers. But um, if you purchase uh, a particular subscription, then uh, it gives you uh, X amount of subscribers or contacts you can have within that account. Uh, so that we're just using an example here. Uh, just while we're here back at this screen, we're just going to uh, give the automation a name. So we'll call this test one. And now we've got our email here. So we'll go create new email. And we'll give this a name as well. Okay. So I find that Active Campaign is, is pretty good with their deliverability, but still, uh, if you can get away without using HTML and a lot of images and logos and that sort of thing, uh, it's always sort of best to just create a pretty standard um, text type email. Uh, but as, as I said, if, if you really want to get uh, creative, you can use some of these templates, but um, generally simple design like this one. So we can, let's just call this, uh, add our test email subject in. And then it comes up with uh, your email. So the, the, then you can just go through with the editor and you've got all these different uh, options here. And it's just drag and drop. Um, you can add, add videos if you wanted to do that. Um, so many different, different options. Uh, but as I mentioned, just a, a simple... Uh, text block and this is ready you got uh, more options here um, so we'll just click next we'll pretend we've created that email correctly and here's where you put in your subject so we can edit our subject here This would be welcome to our store or something similar. 
um, again, get creative. And then you've got a pre-head of text here. What this is is when uh, you, it comes up in your email inbox, it's the first line after the subject. So you can get creative there as well. Um, you put your, your from and uh, to and sorry from and reply emails here. Always good um, to have your domain email here. Um, there's another video we'll go through how you can link up your domain with Active Campaign, but you'd, you'd want to try and have the same email in the from and also reply to, and as your domain uh, helps with deliverability a lot. Automatically generate a text version. That's always good. Some email clients only generate text in emails. Uh, enable mobile responsiveness. Obviously, we leave that on and we can test our campaign. So you can just send a test yourself before this goes live. Really cool feature. And you can check out the, the preview on desktop and in email client. So that, that to do that, uh, you, you need to actually have a, a larger subscription or actually purchase the previews. Okay, the next step is, um, and once you've added this in once, you won't need to do it again, is adding your address in here. Um, as with any email mass sending platform, by law, anti-spam rules, um, need, ensure that you need to have your address in here. Then you can, uh, you've got your tracking options. Um, you can um, have it track when people open the email, when they click a link, uh, when they reply and Google Analytics, etc. Sometimes this can reduce the deliverability. So only, uh, we would recommend only have the options on or enabled uh, that you absolutely need. What it'll also do is do a spam check for you. Um, so what it's told me here is, and the email address, because it's a Gmail address, it's not ideal. So this is where you need your domain in there. Okay, so once that's done, now we're back uh, to our next step. So really simply, uh, with a welcome email sequence, so obviously we'll just go back. So what's happened is uh, they make a purchase or sign up to the newsletter on your in your Shopify store, e-commerce store, that event is triggered and then they enter this welcome email and that uh, welcome email, email will be sent out uh, essentially straight away. Then you add in the next step. So now what we're going to tell it to do, we want it, um, a condition and we want it to wait. We want the system to wait uh, a certain amount of days or hours before we send the next email. So we're going to say we want, and you can also do it for a specific condition. So again, different tags, if they're purchased or not, etc. So now we're going to tell it we're going to wait for three days. And so they're just going to be held in this queue for the next three days. Then we're going to add in another email. And what you would do then is create a second email. Generally, what we do in that first email is have a, a really simple welcome email. Welcome to our business. Welcome to our store. Um, give them a bit of information about the history, maybe in the background, maybe about yourself and who's running the store. And in the second emails, uh, you can do whatever you want, but it might be um, you can explain a brand or go deeper into the history of your of your uh, business itself. And by generating that story and engaging carefully your customers, they're going to become more engaged in your brand. So it's that brand building exercise. And uh, you know, a good way to do it is also is make it a little bit like a story, and you leave them just wanting a little bit more at each each email. So when that email comes through the next time, they're going to be wanting to open it when they see it come through. So you would create a, a different email here, but we're just going to have this same email, just so I can build out the series, and that we're not going to go through every single email. Um, what the content is, but just show you how the process works. So then we would add in uh, a third email. And again, we're going to say wait for, this time we might wait for uh, five days. And you get the idea. So you can test in your market what works best. Uh, what I, we like to do is we start with maybe four or five emails, and then we'll actually keep building this out as we go. So um, if we just put another email in here and then to make it really clear, we will uh, 
I'm looking for the end automation. So once you've built this out, then we can end the automation so we know that series is, is finished. But you can come in and then remove that later on and build out more. Uh, so I'm just going to remove that now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a condition in. So once I get to this third email, we're going to say, uh, we're going to if they meet a certain condition, uh, they are going to receive the next email. So we're going to pretend... I don't think we've got any tags yet. Oh, yeah, we do Shopify customer. So we're going to pretend that if they're a, a Shopify customer, uh, they're going to get this email. And what you'll see is it splits it. So if, they, if, they, if they're a Shopify customer, um, they get another email. Uh, and again, it might just be uh, more discussing your brand and they continue on down the sequence. But if it, if that, so that tag there, Shopify customer, in this particular example means they have made a purchase. So what we're going to do is now add in a, another email here, but this email. So uh, have they made a purchase? No, they haven't. So now what you can do is you can, with this email, you can uh, offer them something. So you might say, um, great, thanks for following along. I uh, noticed you've uh, been in our store and been reading our emails, but you haven't made a purchase yet. Maybe you want 20% off or something like that. So that's it. That's how you can just build that that trust through the series, and then you you carefully offer them a discount as they move through. And then uh, you can add these guys back into the sequence as you build it out further. Um, you can do all sorts of things, and you can send them back to different parts depending on how they click. So, uh, but this just gives you a bit of an idea how to do it. So that's your very simple welcome email sequence. Uh, up here you've got active or inactive, that's simply turning it on, so uh, when purchasers or subscribers enter the list, they'll be entered into this automation. If you leave it inactive, they won't, so very, very, very simple. So that's it for this video. Uh, you could go on for hours and hours building out these uh, different sequences and they can get very complex and we've got some clients with some very complex automation flows. Uh, you know, you can look at it two ways. You can um, create separate automations for separate uh, triggers or separate events, or you can have one large automation that you can then use conditions to send your uh, your users or your customers on a certain path. Very, very powerful stuff, and it becomes very personalised depending on the event or the action that the customer actually took uh, in your store. Okay. Um, Make sure you head on over to our blog, uh, siliconedales.com. It's actually our agency site and our blog. I've got plenty of good articles in there uh, and some really good tips on uh, everything from uh, e-commerce with WooCommerce, Shopify, general WordPress. Uh, we're um, experts in speed optimization of WordPress and WooCommerce, so um, certainly have a look around. Thanks.